Hello guys, welcome back to another Tech Depth Repair video. In today's edition, we're going to be working on a tutorial on how to replace the Samsung S23 Ultra. This is going to be a repair guide demonstrating and showing all the steps necessary to take in order to have a successful repair in order to show to the customer like it never happened. So this is obviously going to be an LCD replacement with the frame. Naturally, we can tell that the LCD has internal bleeding. AMOLED screen usually don't show cracks. They're very uh, delicate because the pixel light up by themselves. So even though you cannot see the physical damage on the outside, it's actually on the inside. A uh, good thing about Samsung, you don't need a lot of tools. All you need is a Phillips screw, plastic card, and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And let's get back to the video. You can use a preheat mat or you can just use a plastic card, put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and start from this corner try to find an enclosure people underestimate how alcohol can fix a lot of problem when it comes to technicalities most technician waste about like I would say 15 to 20 minutes just dealing with the bag glass as you can see right here, I just wasted about less than a minute. Opens like a vertical maneuver gear. After that, we're going to deal with the 18 pieces screws that we need to remove. I highly recommend you use a screw pad, which by the way, we sell at our website tech.com. We do also offer mail-in repair services as well as advanced data recovery services. If it's something that can acquire your interest, please support us. All the links are below in the description. And this is a ESD, electrostatic discharge. Very good to operate in phones. So you make sure you don't have any short circuits. Although it's really rare to short circuit this type of boards because they're actually sandwich boards. Most of the key elements are in between. That is a different type of technology that Apple uses because Samsung prefers to divide the boards into three pieces, main PBA, sub PBA, whereas Apple relies on flex cable and just one sandwich board. A different type of engineering, but what I can say is that Samsung has more interchangeable parts, unlike Apple where everything is serialized by logic number, which indicates some sort of a monopoly or a secret agenda when it comes to repair. So you always wonder why the price of the parts for Samsung, they cost more. It's because it's kind of hard to replicate because they hold many patterns when it comes to the curvature of screens. So the cost of the screen, since they're a little bit more scarce, came to be more expensive for Samsung. Whereas Apple at a certain point decided to switch to OLED only many generation after they released their newest flagship, which by the way started after the 12 Pro. Now, anything below 11 was just LCD panels, not AMOLED unlike Samsung. So that is something Samsung really seems to focus on is uh, quality on hardware. Whereas Apple, they seem to have a different approach with it, which is quality on software. Those are certain elements, they're not really necessary to know, but if you show this to your clients, it means that you know what you're doing. And when you demonstrate like things like that, you're more likely to get more business. Hidden screw right here, holds the camera. Always make sure you have everything on. Okay. So next step is to remove the components. Two flex cable for the NFC wireless tag. You don't have to remove the bottom part. For efficiency, leave it stuck with the loudspeaker. First thing you want to do right away, disconnect the battery. Basics 101. Once it's disconnected, make sure you disconnect every connection. If you have a resistance while you try to extract a component, it means something is either not disconnected or you have a screw somewhere lurking about. This is the upper LCD connection. Always disconnect from the edge, not from the bottom or from the edge. Those connection 
you don't want to underestimate them because they're more fragile than you may think boom there you go all right so once this is removed we're going to take care of the loudspeaker you can just take it from here where i'm showing all right organization is key screw pad right here wireless nfc tag three screws make sure that these three stay apart and before you go any further do not forget to remove the sim tray this is the sub pba notice i left those two last screws separate they're for the 5g antenna module i'll get back to it in a second if you don't have a sim tray you know those like sim tray openers they get lost so easy just fix it with the tweezer you know those are more common boom never lose the sim card this is a nightmare organization is the key i'm gonna push it slightly like that leave it connected don't disconnect anything else like that boom this is a separate connection that will move on to the new display like this now we want to leave this at the very end okay first we're going to take care of the antenna cover on the main pba okay find always the perfect spot make sure there's not a lot of transistor capacitors well, it comes out let's find space for that one you can leave the back glass for later you can put this here camera disconnect do not put it here because the magnet can like sometimes mess up the camera be safe put it here making sure that there is no <clears throat> some for some samsung models there might be a screw in the main pba but for this one it was near the camera so this is the antenna module just like this from the top motherboard comes out there so when it comes to these two little pickles for the international version they do not exist why it's because for certain countries 5g is still something from the past or not perfected yet so it's either embedded in the motherboard somehow or it doesn't exist at all however only for the united states version you're going to see those antenna module 5g and actually it got me curious to why only in the united states they do have those 5g modules and not international so if you guys have an idea please leave it in the comment below section there is a little bit of adhesive here there is no adhesive here the way i like to do it spudger for the adhesive tweezer for the lower one like this and you want to be careful with this because it's actually a flex cable connected onto the module so it's technically four pieces in two pieces or a pair of two pieces it gives you a little bit of a hard time don't put too much pressure it's alcohol it's not gonna ruin the part so don't worry about it unless it's water that's something completely different i don't recommend to put heat on it uh, you can mess up the ribbon cable so just be patient as long as it takes you know you have to make sure you get good at this by trusting your gut so the solution should like make it easier and voila we even extracted the adhesive that leaving a trace uh, for this type of uh, screen there's not really a recycling option so it's best to just toss them away unless you have a crack screen with a perfectly impeccable lcd then you might have options lastly we have the battery two ways to go through this this isopropyl alcohol or pull tabs or both together i'll leave the choice to you but preferably i like to use three tools isopropyl alcohol and a prying tool with a concave tip up and down you don't need necessarily heat unlike what most people think and you don't need to wait forever you just need to have the proper tools even if it does bend a little bit as long as it doesn't puncture you can flip it like that and spoon it there you go simple okay now we're done with that 
We're gonna reassemble everything in reverse order. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. All right, now onto the reassembly process. By the way, we have LCD battery, all the peripheral components in our website, tech.com. Thank you for supporting the business. So first thing you wanna do is battery. Guys, it's very important to respect the order. That way you make sure you don't have any missing components. Center like here, make sure there is like just a tiny gap. Good. Next, you wanna put sub PBA. Charging port. Always think battery, charging port. All the time. Battery, charging port. So for this, you want to make sure that you hear a tiny click when it snaps back on. Oh. Three screws. Always make sure everything is in order. Alright. Next, main PBA. Sure you don't touch the camera with your fingers otherwise it's game over cameras by themselves they cost 146 dollars or by themselves like if you touch one lens between 30 to 40 bucks so it may seem like a puzzle but one tiny mistake can turn ugly like i just did right here stylus pen connection Make sure you get all the connection. Never underestimate the connections of Samsung. There's a lot, like I said earlier, all of their peripherals are inter interchangeable, unlike Apple. Battery, you wanna leave it at the very last. Connection of the main flex, linking the main PBA to the sub PBA, it's already connected. That's the antenna module flex, and that's the 5G module flex. So the thing about Samsung is that they have a lot of redundancy when it comes to their part. You will see a lot of antennas, whereas Apple, they just rely on the frame. They don't have a lot of flex cable like for antenna wise purposes. So like I said, the engineering is different. Both companies have their pros and cons. You get to decide which one is the best. All right, now the other one right here. good so we have the lcd flex cable not to confuse with the main flex cable even though they carry the same name the way to make the distinction there is sub here and there is no s here that's how you know because all the models these flex cables they have a very different curvature and shape so it gets very confusing that's why like i said it's very important to know which order to put them in order not to forget anything front camera very important to put the front camera first then the antenna cover okay we're gonna leave the sim card at the very end now you want to put the antenna cover first snaps connects okay. good think of it like a lego puzzle a fun one wireless NFC tag snaps back on good flat and I made a tiny mistake there you go that's why I say order is very important obviously for this one you don't kind of have a choice you have to connect the battery then NFC wireless unless you come up with like some schnibble way please let us know in the comment below All right, SIM card. And this actually was mailed into us. We do offer mailing repairs if it's something that interests you. We have quality standards here. We use mostly only OEM industrial standards when it comes to like equipment tools for extraction screen, refurbishment, all that tra -la -la. Boom. La joie de vivre. There you go. So now we're going to put back 5G screws onto their respective place. Now we're going to move on to putting back all those 18 beautiful screws back into their respective places. Order doesn't matter when it comes to this case because they have the exact same length, the same width, 
and the same size. Unless you confuse black with silver, that becomes a problem. And by the way, guys, I have a blooper at the end of this video, so stick around. You're gonna like this, I promise you. That is the number one mistake that most technicians do. If you guys can guess it, please leave it in the comment below. But you'll be surprised that the 99% people who come back is precisely for this tiny little <laughs> stupid mistake most of the time. And last screw, which is the black one, like I mentioned earlier, next to the periscope camera. Or oh, this one seems to be the wide lens or the ultra lens. You guys can let us know. So, the easiest part about doing it right with the plastic card is that you don't need to add any extra adhesive because if you do it right, a little bit of temperature heating, suction cup holder, make sure there is no dusty film. You can even add clamps, up to you. Okay. Now we're gonna turn this bad boy. And I'll let you guys know what is the first thing most people forget. You're gonna like this, I promise you. But after we test the screen. There you go, that's what we forget. It looks like even the wallpaper agrees with me. And everything works. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a good like, subscribe if you have any questions. Leave them in the comment below section. Meet us at techdev.com. We offer mail-in, repair service, and advanced data recovery service. Thank you for watching.